So listen, I want to ask you a few questions because I want to follow up <laughs> with some of the stuff we was talking about. Oh, let me see. Where were we at? We were talking about the lyrics. We talked a little bit about the lyrics that the judge was using in the um, YSL case and, you know, how, how wild that was. Because at the end of the day, they were using other people's lyrics. Right. You know what I'm saying? To apply it to them. So I, I really don't know how that's going to work. What you think about that? That just show you the witch. That, that just show you the chase. Like it, 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 it just show you like the pressure. Uh, they trying to say, okay, these people are murderers, drug dealers, this, that, the third, and they putting it in their music. But then you quoting Biggie lyrics. Like what? <laughs> how you quoting? How you quoting Biggie lyrics and saying this ain't lyrics? Like and even then, it's freedom of speech. Period. It don't matter what you put in the song at the end of the day because NBA a young boy just had a fair case and they tried to use his lyrics to get him some and they threw the case out in federal court because of that. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So we're gonna definitely follow up on that NBA young boy. Um but yeah, that's what I was saying too. As far as evidence, like when they were talking about I got nine nines, you know how Biggie say ten tens or whatever he yeah. said like when it comes to evidence they have to show that this man has nine nines 848s two two you know what i'm saying so it's like right, right, right. i look at it like a it's a spectacle it's a spectacle to keep putting stuff out there for the general public one to keep us distracted two to god our mind because these people allegedly who are on the uh to be jurors there ain't no way in heck that they ain't never hear this boy like even me, you see what I'm saying? I'm tired. Look, you got a jury. They talk about a jury of your peers. And turn around and probably only be two of your two to three people from your community. That's your peers. That's it. If, because that's another the problem. Crazy part is, even if, even if the jury selection be crazy, because now if he do go to trial and he do a jury selection, it goes like this. Both sides has a, a enough. Both sides have kick votes and strike down votes. You feel me? Mm-hmm. But y'all both got to come to an agreement. Now, once the strike down votes is gone, it's free game for the prosecutor or you. Exactly. So, y'all, be, y'all could be disagreeing. Y'all could see a jury that might be good for you, that's going to have optimism, that's going to see the case from your side. You see what I'm saying? For a third person, if you want to actually look at it, you going to have people that, that they choose. That's one side of that already think you're guilty. Exactly. So it don't, it don't be. They don't really. It's crazy because this is this a this a expression up here in Jersey that they say, uh, they can indict a ham sandwich. And that's so sad. And it's true. Yeah, it's true though. Like this dude's getting locked up with another person, and they saying conspiracy to commit murder, uh, possession of a weapon. They don't got the gun. But they said the gun was used in the crime, so you're still being charged with the gun, but they don't have the weapon. Then, but well, none of y'all saying nothing. It's not like y'all told on each other, but they still saying y'all got conspiracy because somebody said that y'all two did it. Now, by law, you're not supposed to be arrested by hearsay. What? There's a lot of people right now doing life in prison over hearsay just because two people said, oh, they did it. This is what I wanted to highlight because when you talk about jury selection, it's very important. That's what I'm going to go back to. Because a lot of black people don't understand jury selection. And I, me representing myself, having to sit there with the prosecutor and choose a juror, if you don't understand how they choosing jurors, like you said, you're going to end up having a juror that can be swayed it to dirt different sides. So jury selection is very important. And as you say, it probably be two people from the community or probably even less because a lot of us as black people don't want to have nothing to do with the system. So when they're prosecuting us and they're saying the jury of our peers, they're not our peers. They're not our peers. They're not our peers. They're literally people from, I can't say from outside the county because when I was in Newark, I did get called to jury duty and I ain't go. And that wasn't right. Right. Uh, you know, just to think back now, you know, how much weight we could have as a community as well. So the right. jury selection plays a role. People really need to understand that they literally psychologically evaluate the juror, asking right. them questions. Right. And 
sometimes the prosecutor hold on one more thing well sometimes the prosecutor gets a uh, uh more weight and choose it i'm gonna keep it real i'm gonna keep it real because you can say they they get to choose first sometimes so when i was there he was like okay you get to choose then you get to choose you get to, and he was choosing certain things and then when i would choose a person they'd be like no we don't want that person because they know that right. that person was going to be swayed towards me so i that's what i wanted to get back to because a lot of people right. especially in the hood don't understand how they choose jurors you see what i'm right. saying right. and it'd be simple questions like one i they asked them it was about a violation a car violation my case oh did you ever get pulled over by the police everybody who said yes and felt the way no we don't want them no we don't want them yeah. Not a good ball, yes yeah. yes it's, 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 it's crazy because it's crazy because these prosecutors a lot of them end up being look at kamala harris hmm. vice president you see what i'm saying they be political so as many people as you put in jail as many trials as you win it's a check on your jacket it's on your resume yeah it's not it's not it, it be political and then you got to think about it the prosecutor and the judge don't be from your neighborhood don't be from your city all of it is to come up just like example with cory booker he used north to booker. come up cory booker literally lived in one of the worst hoods in north i remember and we protect him everybody was so happy oh we got and his ass picked up and he gone I mean, he did do some his things. Office, not even his, his, his office, you see what I'm saying? So just show you they use us. They use us. And I ain't going to say Corey didn't do nothing, nothing, nothing. Because he had a lot to clean right. up after Sharp James. But that is a prime example of what you're saying. They're not in our community. They're coming in to bargain and, and solicit us so we right. can shut the hell up. I'm gonna keep it real because a lot of people be like, oh, that's my candidate, that's my candidate. But you didn't put no money in that person's pocket. Uh, they just want you for the face. So the people won't get go against the status quo. This is my opinion. And they're funded by the people who pay them. These corporations, but other- Yeah, mm -hmm. 100%. But the crazy thing is, right? It's a voting process for everything. Who a person votes? could go up to be a judge, but they gotta be voted in. And this is what mm -hmm. people don't understand is they, they, they're supposed to protect and serve. Who votes these people in to be judges? Where do they campaign at? Because I've never seen a judge campaign in my city. See, and they won't campaign. It'll be low. It'll be a low, uh, when they, like, um, broadcasting as far as if you have the right to get a new sheriff and things because out here in georgia they're like okay we're looking for a new sheriff so it's, it's a whole runoff you see what i'm saying in newark i ain't never hear that so it is state by state you see what i'm like, saying it's state by state yeah, and you got to understand how to get in and know what's going on because they're not going to give it to us they're not going to uh, give us the information and it's, it's going to keep and it's going to be a lot of injustices Back to back to back. Let me ask you this. Why uh, one of these uh, white singers or country singers that be talking about killing their husbands or some shit like that get arrested? Like, you know what I'm saying? Yep. Oh, no. It's just a, just a suggestion. What you mean? This man rapping, a, he might be rapping about a gun, but this is this, this, this creative expression. He not. It's the song. You ain't know, saying that he going to go do this. He's not saying that he going to go it don't matter how many years you've had. It don't matter how far you want to go back into this years. But even if before he got, uh, even before a uh, young thug got signed, became a, a, a figure, it don't matter because if you had evidence back then before he became a figure, you would have did it already. Mm -hmm. You talking about? They talking about YSL is the. Uh, YSL is responsible for 85% of the crime, and that's how it's How? What? In Newark? Where? How, how do you, how can you say that? And where? How can you say that? <laughs> Down there, that's what they were saying. I was watching it on the whole black movie. Nah, it it's the poverty. The, it's the poverty, because YSL wasn't in Columbus when I was seeing people trying to break in the car, little kids. Because YSL wasn't there, it was the poverty and no programs. <laughs> As far as the wait, when they're in there and they're waiting, what 
at, at that time, do they get to talk to their co-defendants? Do y'all get, you know what I'm saying? Like, how is it that they don't get to communicate? Because I know some of you do, and some of them do. It goes like the, they got loops. They got loops into this shit to play trickery games. Whereas I, I'm gonna put myself in young belt position. I'm a millionaire. I got so-called power that y'all say I have. Y'all not gonna put everybody that y'all rest with me in the same camp. Oh, I know. This is what y'all gonna do. Y'all gonna put some with me, and then y'all gonna put some in another uh, another jail for holding. Now the cloud comes around like, yo, didn't they get locked up with us? Why the fuck they not in this jail with us if it's in this county? They must be telling. It's, it's a whole lot of games that the prosecutor play. Everything, you know, wow. play the games. Like, wow. When it comes down to the tricks of the trade, they really got handbooks of tricks of the trade. Like, and then they'd be like, oh, why, why I'm over here? You can't be in that jail for security purposes. But no, it's not. It's not because of that. It's because they want y'all separate. Exactly. But all the money that gets put out there, all the money that gets allocated, it doesn't go to where it needs to go. Thank you. So at the end of the day, so at the end of the day, when it comes to, yo, we just gave you, we just gave the state. We had 60 seconds remaining. We just gave the state of Georgia X, X amount of money for, for crime prevention and this, that, that, and the third. Where did this money? Oh, it went in there. So why is crime still up? Oh, because it's a new gang. No, because y'all took that money and allocated it somewhere else. Y'all didn't try to make no programs. Y'all didn't do outreach. Y'all didn't do none of that. Y'all put that fucking money in y'all pocket like y'all always do. Thank or do a ring around the rosy and contract your family that got a construction company and, and make a circle and the money come back to your pocket regardless. Baby, so now you have 30 seconds remaining. Baby, talk that like, talk. Or I'm going to just keep it real, too. As black people, sometimes we don't qualify for these programs because the way they set it up. And then we don't do our paperwork. And it, it, it just be set up right. against us because they know how we live our life. So we got to step it up, right, too. Right, right. We got to step it up, too. Right, 100%. So I appreciate this. I appreciate you. We're going to hit back again so we can finish up this conversation about YSL and also I want to know you know eventually could you let the general public know a little bit about your case 